Yo guys, what is happening among Mad 12 League games and welcome to another game review. So today we're going to be taking a look at Cruisin' for the Nintendo 64. This game is a really cool racing game, actually one of my personal favorites and I'm really excited to jump into this video so let's just get right into some gameplay. Alright guys, so jumping into it here we get to choose our car and, uh, and let's see what we got. It appears that we have an Italia P69, whatever that means. A Devastator VI, I believe that is 6, right? I might be wrong on that. Um, we've also got the LA Bomba. And then we've got the 63 muscle car. Well, I think we're going to have to go with this, uh, the Italia 69 here. I don't know. I believe it's obviously representing the uh, the Ferrari. What is this? The Ferrari 3, 365 or something like that. I, I'm totally wrong on that. Just just don't even bother looking it up. It's just definitely wrong. And I'm, and I'm, already, I'm already forgetting how to drive. Here we go. We can figure it out. All right. So jumping into it here. Can I please use? Okay, good. I can use the D-pad. So I, I broke the, uh, the end of the joystick on this remote. Like just literally. I don't even know. Actually, I didn't even break it. it just It was missing. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm like using the D-pad here. I could go and grab the other remote. I could also try find the little end of the joystick, but that's, those are both, those are both going to be a pain to do. Let's just be honest. So I just, I'm going to use the D-pad. We're going to be fine. I'm sure. <laughs> Great. Now I might be incorrect on this one, but I believe this is the race where you had to actually, you had to stay in front of people, right? You had to be in, not, not last. you right. You just had to be not last by the time it hits, hits the end of the time. I don't even know. It's been such a long time since I played this game. Everybody's crashing right now. Can you guys all get out of my way, please? Oh, yeah, the checkpoints. That's right. You need to hit the checkpoints to get more time. Now I remember how to play it. And at the rate that I'm hitting other cars here, it's not looking like I'm going to be able to hit all these checkpoints. We'll see how far I can make it, though. Might have to get another shot here. I've learned that if I just kind of stay off to the side in the desert even sometimes, it definitely helps me uh, get along a little bit faster. And that's just, I don't know, it's just helpful because then I'm not hitting cars. So the amount of time that it takes to regroup after hitting cars, it just sucks. Here we go. I'm navigating my way around here. Some of the cars here. Oh boy, um, this is <laughs> this is an interesting game. All right, it seems like we are making some good progress here. 11 seconds left to the next checkpoint. I see the checkpoint. Let me through it. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can keep making it. So yeah, it looks like they add about 20 seconds, I'd say, in between each checkpoint, which is uh, I think it's enough time. I mean, we should easily be able to do it here. I don't know. Will we be able to? 14 seconds. Probably will have no problem with this one. It's the next one I'm slightly worried about. Although we've got seven seconds, and I do not see the checkpoint yet, which is kind of concerning me. Not gonna lie, three, two, it's not. We're not gonna make it, guys. What the heck? Are you kidding me? All right, guys, we're gonna give that one another shot. We're gonna get a good start right off the bat. We're not gonna crash into any cars. I think we have a pretty good chance of winning if we do that. There's a blue Italia. What was it? The Italia 69, I believe. There's a blue one of those back there, and that's a pretty cool looking car. It is unfortunate, however, that they did not get any uh, actual brand deals with the, with the car. But the car manufacturers, they couldn't actually name these after the Ferrari. However, that does look like a Ferrari logo, so I'm kind of wondering what the heck is up there. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it sucks that they couldn't actually name them after the real cars. I feel like that's the one thing that I really wish GTA V had, too. Like, it's one of my favorite games, don't get me wrong, but, like, I just, I wish that, I wish that they could get some branded cars in there. It would just be so cool. Imagine actually having Veyrons driving around the street and, like, actual Lambos and stuff. Oh, just bring the game to the next level. I just wish that they could get some cool stuff like that. Obviously, I think those rights are pretty exclusive when it comes to video games. And if not, they just cost a lot of money, I know. So um, it's kind of a pain for them to do that. But still, guys, like, oh, I think about how much money they made off that game. And, and man, they could have they definitely put something back into getting some licensed cars. It's whatever, though. It's still an awesome game. Um, back to cruising, though. Obviously, the graphics are they're, no, they're not the greatest of the time. But they are pretty decent, actually. They're pretty clear. I can definitely see what's happening. It's a lot better than uh, than pole position or something like that way back on the uh, on the Atari and stuff. So definitely a lot better than that. Did I miss that checkpoint? There's no way. Did I? Because I I didn't go by it properly. I don't think a, a split. Yeah. No, I got the checkpoint. Okay, good. At least I think I got the checkpoint. I'm assuming that I did. I'm at 33 seconds, so I think I hit it. But I may not have. I think it's slightly harder to not have the have the deep or not having the uh, joystick here. Well, maybe not actually. That me trying to use the joystick or at least what's left of the joystick. Oh man, just barely made around that corner. Holy smokes, I'm skidding out of control here. Oh boy. We're back down to that 10 seconds left. The checkpoint's right here. Can we do it? We're going to do it. Oh, that's the finish. We finished it. We finished the race. That's spectacular. Okay, we did it. All right, guys. Well, I know this was a quick one, and uh, and we just did, well, I guess one and a half races. We didn't really finish the first one. We finished this one, though. I hope you guys did get a good sense of the gameplay. That's really what these videos are designed for. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, don't forget to go on below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.